Ok guys and girls, this is going to be intense. In this video, I will show you a huge list of Vim commands which you can use. I will squash as many Vim command as possible in this 10 to 15 minutes video. This will show you how powerful Vim can be if you use it properly. So let's not waste time and get started. I have cloned a design pattern repo which I had created when I was reading this book uh, called Head First Design Patterns. Uh, I am inside strategy design pattern directory and if you don't know what design pattern is or what git is it's a good time to do a google search. How do we do autocomplete in Vim? For that we have to just type the initial first you need to go into insert mode and then type the initials so I just type M A L L, or you can just type M2 and then you have to do control P let's see what happens if we just type M and then do control P it will list all the words which will start uh, with M so we wanted mallard so we'll have mallard now let's see if you want to auto complete a line then you just have to type control X and then control L and then it will list out which line you want to autocomplete okay so all of this you need to do in insert mode now let's say you want to find a file path you don't have to go back close the swim editor and go back and search the path you can directly search it here by using control x control f so say I want to search my documents directories path I can do control x control f and then again control x control f again and then there is a list you can choose documents so it's very simple and very handy especially control x control level is my favorite now let's go to second thing which is searching in Vim so to search you have to go into command mode and then type slash and then whichever word you want to search you can type the initials of that or you can type the whole word so let's say we want to search mallard so I can just type mal and it will search all the mallards present here now how did I move my cursor I used small n to move next if you want to move uh, forward you have to use capital N that is shift n n and you'll move backwards then uh, to jump to the first match you have to type gg and n it will go to the first match to jump to the last match you have to type capital G and then n it will go to the last match okay capital G and capital N if you want to search so this was forward searching if you want to do reverse search then you can use question mark Sh question mark and then type model let's say we want to search model now when you type n it will search backwards and when you type capital N it will search forward okay then if you want to search the current word then you have to just type star and then it will just jump to the ne next word and so on and if you want to search in opposite direction then you have to use hash it will search the character in opposite direction it will move upwards I mean backwards then if if say you want if you don't want to search the whole exact match if you want to search only the pattern so let's say I want to search perform fly and then I have a b c okay and I want to search all the st string which has perform fly in it but we don't want exact match then you can do g and then star it will match all perform fly if you simply do star it will not match it will not match for perform fly a b c but if you do g and then star it will match all of them okay then similar for uh, doing reverse uh, reverse searching so if you do g and hash it will 
search all the matched strings but in opposite direction. If you want to highlight all your searches, you can just you do set HL search. So you have to go into your uh, command mode and then press colon and then type set HL HL search. So it is highlighted. But here this yellow with white is uh, very painful to eyes. So if you want to change the color scheme, you can use this command hi command so hi for search and then you are giving the foreground color and the background color when I press this yeah this looks comparatively better you can change to any any color here so if I want to change to blue this looks the best so this is good so we can go with this okay now let's jump to some other file to jump to some other file you can type e and then press tab so it will auto complete all the files S or what you can do is you can type t e and then type the first character and then press tab and then it will list it will choose the file which ever you want it so you can do write the prefix and then you can choose the file and you can do some modification here let's let's print something else so I've just uh, copied the first line and then squeak haha <laughs> okay now if you want to jump back to the file or jump back to your previous position you can press control O and you jump back to your previous position now if you jump if you want to jump back to uh, your next file this squeak file you can just press ctrl i and then you have jumped back again so this is really good and it works for in the same file also so let's jump back again to simulator file so if I press ctrl o I jump back and then let's do something so maybe I have searched for perform fly and then I jumped here so now my uh, my cursor is on okay to set line number you can use set nu so now my cursor is at line number 13 and I want to jump back again to my previous position so I can press ctrl o and then you jump back to 6 uh, to jump back again to line number 13 you can press ctrl i so this is really good if we try to find perform fly with small f let's see what happens it's not able to find so it's easier if we enable ignore case so to do that you can enable ignore case like this you have to do set ignore case and then we, you are able to search perform fly to disable ignore case or anything which you have set like um, search highlighting you just have to type an exclamation mark at the end and then it will become case sensitive till now we have done word completion or auto completion searching jumping between uh, between files and now let's see how we can do find and replace activity in Vim so let's say we want to change the word model to model duck so what we can do is we have to do modulus s and then type model and then type model duck and then gc so here g means all the um, all the matches uh, file and c means give me an option whether i want to change or not so when I press enter it's asking do you want to change the model which is highlighted in white white over here so yeah I want to change that so I will press yes so just type Y it got replaced now the second model you don't want to replace so you have to type N you want to replace the third one fourth one and fifth one I just pressed Y three times 
and now my replace has completed in this command we replaced all the model which all the occurrences of model in this file if we wanted to just change uh, the occurrence of model in a single line then we have to do we, we can directly type s and then type model and the new string and then type g c so if if we don't type c here it will automatically convert do the conversion without asking for an option so that also that is very fast comparatively yeah I don't want to keep that change so I'm undoing it using U if you remember my last video now if say you want to do uh, find and replace in a particular selection so you can go in visual mode select the text which you want to replace and then just type colon so you will see something like this don't touch this just type S here and then say I want to replace back model duck with model again and I want it to be optional so I do GC here and then you have to say yes for the first one no for the second one yes by typing yes Y and no by typing N so no 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 oh sorry I wanted to replace all this so let's try doing it again um, that one we don't want this one we want to replace okay so this looks good so, um, yeah so second is finding and replacing between marks so I have not introduced marks yet but still let's uh, start this so to uh, define a mark you have to say M and A so at line number 12 I have defined a mark A and at line number 15 also I'll define a mark B by saying M and then B all this is done in command mode okay now if you want to replace between marks you have to say A comma B dash B and then you have to type S and then again I will convert model to model duck model to model duck and GC so again it's asking whether I want to convert I will convert this one not this one this one this one this one now that's it I think yeah so there is one more way by which you can uh, do find and replace that is instead of A and B you could have written the line number itself so if I write between 12 and 15 I want to replace model duck by model now let's just jump to changing words so to change a single word you just have to type CW and you go to insert more directly and then you can just type whatever you want say I want to change till opening uh, opening braces I can just write CT and then opening brace okay if I want to find say find something in a single line then I just have to type F and then say I, I want to find F capital F I'll just type F and my cursor will jump there okay now let's say I have a string here which is inside double quotes I have a, some junk value if you want to change inside double quotes you can just say CI and then type double quote and it will change everything inside the double quote and you can just type a new string again shift and A and then you go into insert mode at the end of the line if you want to delete a line you just have to type shift D 
and the line is deleted if you want to go to end of the line but you, if you don't want to get into insert mode then you have to press shift and dollar if you want to go to start of the line you have to just press zero okay if you want to delete a word you have to type dw okay if you want to delete three words then you have to write three dw okay if you want to delete till opening bracket then you have to type dt bracket open now say if you want to convert all the characters present in this line to uppercase character you just have to press G and shift U U everything got converted to uppercase character if you want to convert all of this um, characters present in this line to a lowercase character you just have to press shift small u I think this would be enough for today do you think I missed some commands of course I have missed many awesome commands just type that down in the comment section do your research are you finding any command difficult ask me in the comment section or just go to vimwiki using our favorite google that's all for today I hope you enjoyed it learn something new that's why I'm here please like share and subscribe bye bye